516 all new this morning. Hope for Alzheimer's patients and their families. Thanks to a newly approved drug that really could be the first to actually treat the disease instead of just the symptoms. But you know, there are still some major flaws like accessibility. So in this morning's Health Insider Report, our Nohilani Graf is diving deeper here into who will actually benefit from this. Right, because there are some things to know. We get really excited, but then we need the real world yes. impact here. So the drug that goes by lecanemab has been shown to slow the progression of the disease when taken early enough. And that could translate to several months of hanging on to your quality of life and your mental acuity. But between the potential side effects and the price tag, the cost may outweigh the benefit for a lot of patients. It's the disease that robs your memory, but the FDA greenlighting the drug lecanemab, sold as lecembi, after showing it may at least hold off the bandits a bit longer. Senile plaques that basically form in uh, different parts of the brain, impacting our memory and our ability to think clearly. In a short 18-month blind study, the drug reduced that plaque, slowing the disease progression by 27%. Patients taking the drug and the placebo all developed symptoms, but those on Lakembi held them off longer. It's great to see the breakthrough. It's great to see the development, but is it really going to be something that makes a huge impact for a lot of people? No. ABC 15 Health Insider Dr. Shad Marvasti says in addition to potential side effects like brain bleeds and swelling, it's also too early to tell how long patients may need it. It's administered through an IV every two weeks. Early studies suggest most might need to take it for three years. And the price tag alone puts it out of reach for most people. It's over $26,000 per year. So you know, think about how many people can afford to pay that. And it really brings up questions of health equity. Right now, insurance won't cover any of the 20 grand, a caveat to fast tracking FDA approval. So while advocates work to cut through that red tape, Dr. Sean says there are three things we can all do to lower our risk. Avoiding excess sugars, eating a lot of healthy fats, uh, exercising to get your heart rate up regularly, and then making sure to stay connected and, and keep your brain active. I think those are things we can do right now uh, to help prevent this from happening in the first place. So the Centers for Medicare and Medicaid Services stopped covering Alzheimer's drugs that target specific things after jumping the gun on another similarly fast track medication that just didn't end up doing as much as advertised. CMS says it will consider an exception here once they get the phase three trial data and that has been turned over, but that decision then could take another year or so. For those who can afford it, however, if you are of means, then it could be a couple of months before doctors are able to start prescribing. Well, it's a start, right? It's exactly. a start to move in the direction where everybody who needs it can Further get than it. we've gotten before. Right, yes. and we know so many families are desperate for yeah. some kind of solution. Yes. No, hey, thank you for that.